report as ICC wins game one by the final score of 12 to 1. And joining me right now is our star of the game, brought to you by Matthew Perry Insurance Agency in Fulton. Get insurance that fits you. And it's Nathan Flanagan, the third baseman for the ICC Indians. And congratulations, Nathan. You're our Matthew Perry Insurance Agency star of the game. That was a fun one there in game one, winning 12-1. Yes, sir. We came out hitting the ball well today. We uh, cleared our heads. Coach Carter had a met, we had to meet in the classroom, and uh, he uh, he said he's gonna have a new attitude on the team. He's just let's play relaxed and have fun. So that obviously worked. Yes. So, Mission accomplished, yes, Nathan, in, in game one. And of course, you get a run in the first inning, which I thought was important. And, and then in that second inning, 11 runs. It was 31 minutes, almost 32 minute half inning. Uh, that was fun. And you had a couple hits in that inning. Yes, uh, fact, scored two runs. So, what did you see out there from uh, Upshaw, the pitcher, that guys felt you, that you had the confidence that you attacked him and then also attacked a couple relievers in that same inning as well? I think as a team, we came out just, I mean, everybody was. Hitting the ball well, I mean, we uh, everybody was relaxed. It seemed like we were just having fun. Like I said, that's that. I mean, when you don't play tight, uh, you can play in any sport, including baseball. And how important was this win? Uh, and then, of course, how important is game two? We've been we've been hanging out in Splitsville lately. We've had seven straight splits. How important was this win so we can try to get a sweep? Oh, this this win right here puts us back in. I mean, we we have to jump out. Second game, win second game just like we did the first game. That's what Coach Williamson was telling us the other day at practice. We we got to win the third, fourth, and fifth inning of game two. Come out, play hard, just have fun again. Well, you had fun in game one. Good luck in game two, Ned. Yes, and in our star of the game. To our final, uh, final segment of this afternoon's Family Pharmacy of Fulton post game report. ICC wins game one, 12 to 1. Joining me right now is a happy head coach, Rick Collier. This interview brought to you by world famous Pisons on South Adams and Tupelo. Give Stan the Pizza Man a call today at 862 4000. Rick, that uh, classroom meeting that you had with the Indians, I guess, on Wednesday, it sure looked like it worked. We jumped on Delta right off the bat and gave them no feeling of any chance here in game one. Yeah, our guys have been playing tight, and, uh, you know, this is a place to come have a good time. You know, the baseball field is, we all have worries out there in our life, and uh, when you get out here and you make this a job, there's something going on wrong. and. Uh, we got in there and talking about inner arrogance and believing in yourself and having a good time and uh, you know being an Indian when you know it doesn't matter who gets the big hit or it doesn't matter who's in the lineup. Just about an hour long segment in the classroom and and uh, you know I wanted them all to you know sign a sheet of paper and talk about commitment and things like that and. Uh, you know, I'm gonna catch a different attitude. You know, I wasn't used to seven splits pulls like y'all. You know, uh, we we've, uh, we've had a few. We've had some trying times and some not getting some big hits. And uh, and uh, you know, I've made it tight. I think a little bit. And uh, it's, it's a good place to be. I mean, anytime you're on baseball field, it's a great place to be. And I'm trying to instill that in those guys. Well, was there one play or two plays that stood out in your mind early in that game uh, to put us in control? Well, you know, we uh, had a big hit in the first score run, and, uh, you know, that squeeze in that second inning, uh, it has another run, and, uh, hey, we work on that stuff in practice, and I think that relaxed them a lot, and bam, next thing you know, with uh, two outs, uh, the other play of the game, three hit by batters in a row. Base is loaded, base hit, and there's two more runs. So it's just like floodgates opening that second inning. Some of those plays of the game brought to you by PHI Fabric Warehouse in Tupelo. And uh, there's no question, we had nine of those runs in that 11-run second inning was, was scored. Uh, they were scored after two outs, and we were kind of talked about in the dugout beforehand uh, this game, what Mississippi State had been doing the last couple of days. Well, your Indians did the same, and hopefully they can do the same in game two. Yeah, this is a big step for game two for us. Uh, you know, a lot of freshmen in the lineup, and, uh, you know, they're used to playing that one game and going home and taking care of business wherever they were before they got here. And... Uh, Business is not done yet. No. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's great to win, uh, but the job for the day is still there. And I've tried to, I'm trying to go with these guys and be relaxed with them. And, you know, great. I tell them, you know, let's clap our hands right now after game one. But guess what? You know, we got to do it again. 
and uh, they they gonna have to figure out how to take care of business two games in a row. I hope today they get a taste of it and uh, hope it carries on throughout the rest of the division play. Well, Rick, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, good luck in game two, partner. All right, thanks. Rick Callier joins us before and after every game. Brought to you by Pisons, located in Fulton.